Ah, Cad Bane, I see you've accepted our offer to return the contingency orders in exchange for all of your bounties being lifted. Not exactly, Commander Thorn. Execute Order 69. Nice. It will be done. Sir, I don't know what's going on, but the 65th Coruscant Guard have been ravaging the city. I know you've come here with more police forces to help us, but I just don't know if it's possible. Soldier, I think I know what's going on. Something in the clone's head has made them think that they need to put this place under martial law. They think we're the Separatists or something along those lines. Whatever the problem may be, we need to hold out for as long as we possibly can. The Jedi will surely think of something to help us out. Yes, sir. I'll order the men to hold out for as long as they possibly can. What's going on gamers? It's me, Daily Production- Oh, no, wrong channel. It's me, Daily Tactics here, back with some more Men of War Assault Squad 2, the Star Wars Galaxy at War mod, and today we're continuing our Coruscant Thievery series, where Cad Bane went and stole the contingency plans of the Republic, and now he has used them against the Republic. He has ordered the 65th Coruscant Guard to commit Order 69. Obviously a fictional order, uh, but the very nice, and the order states that the 65th Coruscant Guard will turn on the Republic on Coruscant and capture the planet, putting it under martial law of whoever ordered the order to happen. So, obviously, that would be Cad Bane. So, the 65th Coruscant Guard has been just ravaging the streets of Coruscant as the police forces there try their best to hold them back, but it is looking pretty futile. So right here we have some of the 65th going down these alleyways and attacking a, uh, a Republic facility over here and trying to take it over. We've used this map a couple of times in the past. I think it's a really, really cool and good map, so I thought we'd use it again for this battle, and it's been like six or seven months since we've used it last. Uh, uh, so yeah guys, should be really really fun and entertaining. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this series. Subscribe if you haven't already, it helps out the channel a ton. And comment down below what you think will happen next in this course on Guard series, because it's going to be more than a trilogy baby, it's going to be multiple, multiple, multiple videos, because I actually really like this storyline, and I think it should be like a mini series on the channel. Either way guys, let's get into it. What's up gamers? I'm here to tell you about Instant Gaming. Instant Gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games. Uh, seriously, it's like 60 to 95% off as you can see here. Uh, these are all of the Star Wars titles they have. They literally have every Star Wars title. Uh, you can also get XCOM here, Men of War Assault Squad 2, all of the games I play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices. If you use my affiliate link in the description, it helps me out a ton so thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship and thank you to instant gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel all right guys it's go time let's go in slow-mo for the first bit here and press start the only advantage that the republic uh 65th course on guard really have here are these three mortars but they are only going to be usable in the first little alleyway here the second alleyway they're going to be blocked by those buildings and they're not going to be able to get any mortar fire out so they need to utilize these mortars as much as possible as early as possible in these battles and they're doing just that they're getting some nice mortar shots off uh most of them landing right up here getting only a couple of kills here and there but they gotta calibrate the mortars you know they gotta go mm, yes of course mathematics uh now we reposition at a 75 degree angle over here and then kablooey uh, that's exactly the way military folk talk. If you guys are in the military, you of course can confirm that that is military speak. Thank you very much. Uh, so either way, the 65th Corps on guard is clearing out this first alleyway. There are plenty of free roaming troopers over here that are able to retreat back at their own pace or advance forward if they are feeling a little cocky. Uh, but I doubt that kind of happens here because the Corps on guard are really blitzing right now. In fact, most of the troopers that are in good optimal firing positions are slouched down being suppressed by incoming fire. However, you know, that didn't stop them from getting a few 
two kills in the initial parts of this battle. I mean, I'm seeing six or seven dead Coruscant Guard out of the probably 200 that are on the streets right now. Um, not a great ratio, but we're hoping to see that improve for the Republic defenders here. Really hoping to. They have about even numbers. I gave both sides about 200 soldiers on the battlefield. So I'm hoping uh, that the mortars will act as the advantage for the, the 65th course on guard. Meanwhile, the defensive positions and the few turrets that they have will act as the advantage for the defending Republic police forces. So they sort of balance each other out in those regards and will create, you know, sort of this, this battle that, uh, you know, is winnable for either side, despite them both having the exact same numbers. Oh, my dog wants to go out. One second, guys. All right, gamers, there we go. We can continue the battle now. Olive is successfully been taken outside. I think, honestly, she was just sleeping on my bed and me, you know, commentating over the video <laughs> bothered her enough to be like, all right, chief, I'm going to head out. This is, <laughs> this is it for me, dog. <laughs> you, you had your chance to have me stay in the room and you blew it. You were too loud, too obnoxious. <laughs> so she just kind of dipped. That's all right, though. We'll, we'll, we'll accomplish great things without her, and then she can be in the next few videos. She's like the channel mascot, you know? She's the channel doggo. The channel doggo. Every channel needs a good doggo. Doggo mascot, of course. All right, well, the 65th is managing to avoid, really, a lot of deaths here. I mean, seeing a couple more as they have entered into sort of these defensive positions over here, but overall, you know, they're just sort of skirting around a lot of the incoming fire and the mortars are clearing out these bunkers, these trenches, you know, these makeshift trench bunkers. They're just clearing them out before these guys can even really get that many 65th Coruscant Guard kills. So the Republic is playing this really, really poorly. Meanwhile, the 65th Coruscant Guard is playing this really quite well and I don't even know if the Republic could and by the Republic I'm talking about the the police forces of course I don't know if the police forces could play this any better right now I mean standing your ground with the the free roaming troopers up front would result in just more of them dying because of mortar strikes incoming so it probably was in their best interest to retreat those troopers way back here to a position where now they are out of range of the mortar and can thus you know fight and live another day and maybe get some more kills back here or something like that so i i do think it was probably a good idea a smart idea to pull back you know to not let the uh the 65th Coruscant Guard just take them out too early in the battlefield. You know, it's a bit of a hit-and-run guerrilla tactics. Maybe get a couple of kills, and it does look like they did get a couple of kills. Uh, and then just split. Just dip on out of there, live to fight another day. So I guess they couldn't really play this battle any better than they already are. Either way, this first alleyway is just about donezo. I mean, the mortar has been just absolutely devastating. There are only a few troopers remaining over here. They are managing to get like one or two more 65th course on guard kills, and I suppose anything is better than nothing in this instance. I think the real defenses are going to pick up back here where we've got multiple E-Web turrets. We've got a ton of troopers uh, sitting at really, really nice choke points back here. So I think that is when the uh, the Republic police forces will begin to shine a little bit more. All right, going into normal speed here so we can just observe the, uh, <laughs> the alleyway crumble under mortar fire. Yep. Oh, that police car blew up because of an exploding mortar and took with it every trooper behind those blockades. That's a yikes from me, dog. That is that is some tough luck right there. All right, but now rounding the corner, the mortar shouldn't be nearly as effective unless they can leap over this building. In which case, that is bad. That is very bad for the defenders, and the defenders are going to have a, a far harder time than I thought, but we'll see if that does spell true. Either way, we are seeing more 65th course on guard troopers going down as they round this corner. Seems like the defenders are having a better time. I am seeing mortar shots landing rather close to them, though, so uh, it does look like that is not going to be the end of the mortars for now. Oh, friendly mortar fire right there! Those troopers will likely get up because friendly fire... Oh, there's another one. Friendly fire doesn't do enough damage to kill, but it does hurt them a little bit. Um, so yeah, it, it did hurt those guys a little bit, but they managed to get back up. That corner was pretty efficient. Got 10 or so 65th course on guard kills. I thought a lot more 65th course on guards uh, troopers would die around there, but they really just didn't. So here comes sort of the next uh, little choke point advantage position that could prove good 
for the defenders and the uh, clones are just running right on into it here looks like the defenders sort of set up these two police cars uh, in optimal positions that would sort of funnel the 65th into them and it seems to be working right now I mean the the defenders are losing a few troopers but they are wiping out a whole lot of red clone shock troopers here so this is not a bad strategy by the defenders for once uh, and they're managing to actually do a little bit of damage to the attackers here but it's gonna be it's going to need to be a little bit more than that. They're going to need to really, really hold out here. Ooh, and that grenade is not going to help. That dislodges a ton of troopers. One of the droids ends up dying. Actually, the other three didn't end up dying there. Okay, usually when troopers get dislodged from positions, it's an advantage for the attackers to sort of come and take over. Uh, but they didn't take advantage of that, and they only got one kill out of the four dislodged troopers. So, um, not bad at all. Now the 65th, after their Blitzkrieg me method has been slowed down, they're being a lot more methodical about what they're going to be doing here. They're taking their time, they're thinking things out, uh, and they are successful in doing so. They are eliminating some of these defenders by being a little bit more careful about the actions they take. That being said, they are still dying now in droves as they pick up the pace once more, trying again to go after the Blitzkrieg strategy and try and make that work again, but it's just not gonna. I'm surprised more people aren't just going around the right side over here. It looks like two have, both of them captains, so maybe they were, uh, you know, forward thinkers in the Republic here. Um, but both of them got chopped down. Maybe a mass assault over here while simultaneously assaulting down the middle. And heck, throw in the left as well. Then maybe the, uh, the clones could dislodge this position really nicely and actually take full control of the battlefield. But it is a complete 180 that's going on right now. I mean, if you think about it, the clone troopers, this is the first time they're being slowed down. All throughout these defenses, they were rolling. Those mortars were helping them out so much. Their troopers were barely taking any losses, and now they're starting to hurt. And uh, they're not prepared to have this sort of hurt happen. They are, uh, they are still employing the same strategy because it worked so well earlier, but they need to, they need to rethink this. And they need to make it happen, boys. They need to start pushing a little bit better here. And maybe, maybe get some stuff going for them. If they can, uh, if they can start pile driving through again, but uh, employ a bit more of a strategy, they, they can make it happen. But right now, this, this strategy ain't working. I'm calling it right now. It ain't working, and they need to rethink some things. I mean, look, these guys are just standing off to the side, getting shot, not even, <laughs> not even retaliating at all. Oh, there we go! There's a police force kill. Okay, and there's a second one. All right, that's some progress right there. I mean, heck, try another grenade over here. There's only two troopers left over there. Grenade them, dislodge them, maybe even kill them, and then push forward from there. It could work, dude. All right, let's see. We got a machine gunner pushing forward. Oh, not good, dude. Not great. Ooh, a little bit of fire from this DC-17M trooper. He could manage some things. Maybe? Perhaps not? Come on, fellers. Oh, big blitz right there. Oh, but absolutely domed by this DL-44 wielding Twi'lek. She does end up going down. Another flanker over here. That's the, like, fourth one we've seen in totality. So surprised that more clones aren't going that way. You'd think. The AI should be smart enough to at least just go, hmm, let's not send everyone down the same way, but no. No, apparently not. Apparently they're just like, eh. We'll just keep yeeting. No no problem with yeeting. Just Yotus, my mans. That's all we got to do. <laughs> all right, here we go. Big moves happening right now. The clones are making it rather far. There's actually still a few police forces back here on the flank. And this is a free-roaming trooper who got himself stuck in a downed ship or building or whatever that is. Yikes. Okay, so the clones do need to sort of double back and take those guys out before they get too much flanking damage. Luckily, those guys only have pistols, so it's not going to be too bad, you know? But, eh, it could still cause a little bit of damage. Alright, here comes the 65th. They are now powering through in full assault uh, strategy, I guess. <laughs> And they're making it happen, actually. They're, they're coming forward. They've taken out one E-Web turret over here. There's still a second one over this way, but it's not super effective because they're getting blocked by their own blockades a little bit here. But there we go. It starts spraying out and gets a couple more clone trooper kills with the aid of some infantry around them. So the clones have successfully gone through one of these barricaded choke point positions. Now they just have to go through a second one, and then they'll basically have it. There is another E-Web turret way back here, though, and this thing's getting some decent fire out. Not a ton, but it's enough to sort of cover fire. 
E-Web turrets have been rather disappointing in recent battles, I've found. There's been a few battles in the past where they just rack up like 80 kills and are absolutely nuts. But lately, I don't know if they got nerfed or something in uh, Galaxy at War, but lately they've not been doing as much. They've only been getting like 10 kills, which overall is still good and better than the average amount of kills that like a normal soldier gets, but like still not that great. This E-Web turret obviously got grenaded right there. We just witnessed that firsthand. Pretty tragic, but oh well, rip the dream. It's gone. Uh, bye bye now. Uh, now the clones just have to sort of break down this final stand in the back there. There's a couple of troopers over here, but they're not going to be super effective, I don't think. It's these troopers back here that they now need to worry about. But it should be easy riding from now on. I mean, the clones have certainly taken some extreme losses during the totality of this battle. But I, I think they still have this in the bag. I think now that they've cleared both major choke points, they've got this. There goes the E-Web turret driver. He's gone. Bye bye Chief. Oh, these fellers up here who were uh, hiding out, they got killed. They're gonzo. Yep, now it's 65th cleanup time, baby. This is it. 65th just needs to push a little bit farther forward, do a little bit more damage, and they've got it. All right. Uh, these uh, positions here are actually really hard to shoot through. This narrow slit makes it so the clones attacking have to be extremely accurate. The best weapon to do it with is a DC-15X, but the clones don't have any of those. So uh, I highly doubt they actually get any kills through that narrow slit. So these guys might actually manage to live a little bit longer and uh, start killing a few clones that uh, get a little too close. Oh, grenaded through the slit. Dislodges those troopers and thus they die to blaster fire. That guy actually did die through the slit. That is surprising. Oh, but this guy's still gunning down some clone troopers. At this point, the Republic just wants to kill as many clone troopers as they possibly can before they all go down. And they're doing a pretty good job of this. This is not a bad last stand. They're getting a few clone trooper kills here and there. Oh, that guy got one more kill before going down. Those guys got grenaded. And they're donezo right there. The clones managed to pull a victory during Order 69. So, red are dead clone troopers. Yellow are dead... Uh, police forces the police forces um lost way more troopers than the clones did but they fought hard and they got some clone kills we'll find out what happens next in the next episode of this little series that we've got going right now i'm really excited about the series i think it's super fun and i hope you guys are too subscribe if you haven't already be sure to smash that like button i'll see you all in the next one peace